Hi, in this tutorial we will see how to create a custom UI for our modifiers. Using the nodes to panel tool from Bagapi. This tool is very useful for facilitating the use of complex node trees, allowing you to organize exposed values and display nodes such as flow curves or color ramp nodes in the panel. This feature is also very useful for GeoPack, but remain optional. In practice, the operation is very simple. Prefix are added to the input names, allowing Bagapi to know how to display them. Here we'll use this column generator as an example. I've already displayed my inputs in the modifier stack. First, we need to tell Bagapi to display the node tree. Simply add BP underscore at the beginning of the node tree name not to be confused with the modifier name which is used to name your modifier in the panel. Note that, if you use GeoPack, the modifier is named according to the node tree without the BP prefix if it's present. Now that the modifier is displayed, we can display our first inputs with the prefix. Use V underscore to display a value. It can be any type of input. There are about 10 prefixes that are listed in the Bagapi preferences and documentation. To add a label, use L underscore. This input is only used to add a label. You can hide it in the modifier by clicking on Hide in Modifier. To improve the readability of the panel, we can group everything in boxes with the prefix B. The letter B, followed by an underscore means create a new box. If you want to add a value to an existing box, a simple B is enough. In our case, we'll have BV. Keep in mind that prefixes can be combined. For example, we can decide to group our inputs in a row. It's the same principle as for a box. Add our underscore to start a row and just start to add to the existing row. We can create buttons that can simply switch a boolean input or serve as a button to show hide part of the inputs. The button must be a boolean input type. Add the prefix p underscore. In my case, I'm going to use it to show hide inputs. I'll hide it in the modifier. All inputs can be scaled by adding an integer before the input name here too. For this column, I need to display the curve of my float curve node. Create an input starting with C and name it. The input name should be the same as the label or node name to be displayed. If multiple nodes have the same name or label, they'll all be displayed. You can press F2 to rename a node or go to the node tab of the panel. For readability, I choose to put my curve in a box. To have a button control the display of an input, we need to associate this input with the button. To do this, we'll assign an identifier between 0 and 9 to our button. Here, it will be 1 after the P. Then we put the identifier at the beginning of the names of the inputs that will be associated with the button. You can add separators, they allow you to add spaces. Create an input and name it S underscore plus the size of the separation. At the bottom of the panel, there's a save as geopack modifier button, which allows you to add the modifier to a geopack. I'll let you check out the dedicated tutorial. Obviously, the interface you just created will be preserved. Don't forget that the order in which your inputs are arranged is important you have to read it from top to bottom. The float curve and color ramp nodes will be displayed in the position of their input, but their order, which node comes before which node, is not controllable. Finally, you can create inputs that create buttons. They link to internet URLs. Create an input of type string and add URL plus underscore as the prefix. Then put the URL in the default value. When you click on the button, the link opens. Don't forget to hide all unnecessary inputs visible in the modifier. 
Now you have your own panel. I recommend checking out Geopack if you haven't already. It's in line with this tool. If you have any requests or feedback, please don't hesitate to contact us. Enjoy!